Like if you know how to jack somebody on the phone, stimulate interest, transition into share vision, you're gonna have a huge advantage over the next 20 years. I can teach them a lot better way to get business. So in-person email, um, on the phone, text and phone calls. Man, you can get a huge advantage. There's two things to get an advantage of in the world today, I, I believe. One is still knowing how to make a phone call. Not a text, not a DM, not a, a you know post. Someone that knows how to make a phone still reach the whole world. Like if you know how to jack somebody on the phone, stimulate interest, transition into share vision, you're gonna have a huge advantage over the next 20 years. Because they don't. They don't, I'm training these ones, but most of this generation, they cannot do what I do. I'll get you any day of the week, give me a list of numbers, I will make the sale. I will feed my family picking up the phone and talking to somebody. I know exactly how to leave a message, go right through that process. You want to separate. The other thing that separates, not only a phone call, is what I learned in there from Tito Ortiz. There's still going to be a bigger gap on those people that can have pain. We are softening everybody, and, and, and those people that have old school, borough attitudes like me, right? I wake up every morning and I say to myself, there's nobody's gonna outwork me today. I don't, I'm not gonna quit. I frame things like he does, man. This sure beats not eating. He's bragging in there, right? I got my house on the water, my Phantom Rolls Royce, Panera, Porsche, whatever, and when he has all those broken bones and everything at 45 taking on a champion fight, he just uh, frames it out. Well, I think the two areas that we separate ourselves right now is if you are good on the phone, you'll have a huge advantage over everyone else because they're not. And two, if you're just playing tough, you're gonna have a huge advantage. Because my kids cannot learn what I know. I always say, you grow up poor, I feel sorry for the rest of you. Because you can't replace that. And we're making it just because of technology, not even because of wealth, just because of technology, even being poor is different than we were poor. Right, there's just so, it's the access and like, you know, I, I mentioned to my kids the other day, we were just driving to San Diego in traffic to the beach house. And he has his phone and TV, like he's borrowed mine to be on YouTube, watching the, the game, and he's playing the game on this hand, on the thing. And he still tells me, when are we gonna be there? And I'm thinking, dude, I used to go eight hour drives in a car that sucked and I'm looking at license plates trying to play the license plate game. And he's not even entertained by these things. And you know what I'm thinking in my head? I gotta change that because I don't want him not to have the gap. I want him to be the kid like Joe DeSena from Spartan that drops off his kids with 40 pounds weights and says, walk home four miles. I, those kids are gonna be so successful. And if I teach them how to make a phone call, they'll be super successful.